All right, guys. So, time for some real talk. Now, we've been having some problems with guys doing their show hair in the past. For those of you who don't know what show hair is, it's pretty much self-explanatory. It's what you do with your hair before a show. One of the things we like to promote is always look your best, even if you're wearing a hat through the performance. Uh, so we need to talk about hair. So, uh, first off, you have two options. You either shave it and do a buzz or you style it. So you pick your choice, but if you get a haircut before coming into tour and spring training, it's, uh, it's gotta look good. It can't. I, don't, I shouldn't even have to explain that. You should know what a bad haircut and a good haircut looks like. Um, so, uh, if you have hair like mine, and when you wake up and it looks like this, then you have some work to do. Uh, can't have it look like this. So, it's going to need a little bit of TLC, and dudes, you just got to put some work into it. So. I am going to go get it wet and then we'll talk about different things you can do with your hair. I'll talk about what you do for short and what to do for long ish like mine. I will be right back. All right guys. So now I'm back. So my hair is wet and now I can do stuff with it. Uh, as far as what you can use in your hair, uh, I have a few options. Um, you know, you can always go with just typical hair gel. Uh, any kind should work. Um, unless, again, you're like me and you care a little bit more about what you're putting in your hair and you want it to look even better. Um, I typically go with this guy here. Uh, it's called American Crew Pomade. You can get it pretty much anywhere. Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, Amazon. Um, the reason why I like it is because typically what we've done in the past is we go for that old school hair look. Uh, nice and sleek uh, and typically shiny. Um, so I'm going to go over a few looks though. So let's start with uh, an easy one. And it's pretty much what you see right now. If you have the longer hair, just keep it nice and tucked on the sides. And then you're just going to push it over to the side. Uh, and it makes it look clean. Doesn't look nasty. And it's easy. Um, if you're looking for more of a, you know, something else to do with it, you actually want to use something in your hair. Even if you do this, still recommend it because it still can get messed up under the hat. And having something in it helps put it back into place. So, uh, first look. I'm going to take a little bit of my pomade here. Comes out, still looks a little bit like a gel. I'm going to take a finger's amount. A little bit more. Put it in my hand. I'll go around, even if you're using a hair gel. Same thing. And just put it all in there. Guys, judge me all you want. But having good hair is a good thing nowadays. All right, so the first look, nice and simple, and I even have a name for it. Actually, let me get a little bit more. I have long hair, so it needs a little bit more product. Okay, so you get all of it in your hair, then you're gonna take a comb and just comb it back. Nice, sleek look. My hair is a little bit shorter. It would look better. But this one is called the temp. Alright. All, all you're gonna do is put a little gel in your hair and comb it back. Nice, sleek, shiny. Nice and easy, right? Alright. That's look number one. Now, again, if you liked the style before. I have to do is the same thing, but bring 
the top over to one side. Then you got look number two. Kind of. Okay. So we have look number one, the Tim. Look number two, Tim to the side. Uh, and I'll be back. I have to wash some of this out a little bit and we'll go to look number three. All right, guys. So I'm back. This one's a little harder to do since it involves shorter hair, like really shorter hair. Um, but I tried my best and all you're gonna do is kind of spike up the front a little bit and now you got the Mike Wells. All right, so if your hair is about the same length as his, all you gotta do, put a little gel in your hair, just spike up the front. Doesn't work well with my length hair, but you do what you gotta do. So I don't recommend this one if you have longer hair. Uh, the next look is pretty simple. You're gonna take your comb and you're gonna comb it all the way down to one side. This is the fun part. Shake your head. Okay, now that you got that, it spreads it out and you're just gonna have it flat on the top and bring it down to one side. Now you have the Johnny Mo. Little bit of a hipster vibe going on, a little bit. All I need is some nice round shades and boom. All right. So that's, I even lost track of what look we're on. Awesome, this video's getting longer than I wanted it to be. Um, I'll be back with some other looks. All right guys, now we're, we're on our next look, and nice and simple. You gotta look like this guy, sadly, but it works. So you just buzz your head, nice and simple, because then you don't have to deal with this every single time. If you do this, you don't have to worry about show hair, and it's nice and easy. The next one, uh, I'm gonna show you, same thing. You don't have to do anything with it, and it also has a name. All right, guys, for our next look, hmm. nice and simple again. Shave your head completely. And this one is called the J-Boss. Nice and shiny. <laughs> you can even see your reflection. Yeah. Our whole look has been based off staff, if you haven't guessed yet. So, yeah. Hmm. All right, guys, so that sums up a few styles. Um, nice and simple, just gotta make it look good. Um, and when in doubt, look at the staff. The staff tends to have pretty good hair. Um, if you don't want to use this, even though I highly recommend it, um, you can also use the crew fiber. It gives you the same hold, it's just not shiny. Um, I use this for my day-to-day -day stuff. I just use this for show hair. Um, if you don't want to spend quite as much money, um, Axe makes a kind of similar product um it's called axe piece uh control cream works well and it's a lot cheaper you can also get this at walmart and walgreens cvs target whatever anywhere um so to not make this video go on any longer just look good you know if if you're getting weird looks at public, or in public, you got a bad hair, you got some bad hair. Just, if you don't wanna deal with it, if you don't wanna style it all the time, then shave it, please, buzz it. And there's people who are gonna have buzzers there, and just, just shave it. Um, second thing we need to go over is facial hair. I do not have the capability of growing a beard. Um, at all. All I have is this, um, I can't even call them muffin chops. Nothing. And then I have this stupid mustache and nothing on my chin. Which means I have prepubescent facial hair. As, I think that's how Cameron said it. So I have to shave it off. 
If your facial hair looks like mine, you have to shave. If your facial hair looks like Parker's, if you didn't want to be called out in this video, Parker, you just did, so whatever. Um, you can grow a beard. So, you just, uh, the oldest no decision on that. If you can't grow a beard, shave. No pedo mustaches, porn mustaches, uh, no soul patches, um, no muffin chops, no neck beards. Again, everything's got to look good. So, shave. Unless you grow a beard. Um, that wraps up everything. If you have more questions uh, or specific things, or maybe you can't find a different hair product, or you want to ask if, if this is fine, or maybe a different hairstyle and you just want to know, or if this haircut's okay, uh, please contact me uh, on Facebook, uh, ask for my number, ask through somebody else, whatever. Um, if you don't know my name specifically, uh, it's Dylan Patterson, probably should have opened with that, uh, but everybody calls me Paunch, uh, and I'm a trumpet. So, I'll see you guys in move-ins, and if your hair looks like roadkill, um, I will shave it personally. Sweet. Uh, see you all in spring training. Go Troop.